The Zenithal Prime, an often used tool for base coating miniatures. All we need are two colors. Black as the base coat and white as the highlight sprayed from above or in a 45 degree angle to simulate light. Since this technique is often used by all these YouTube painting demigods, Zenithal Undercoat, Zenithal Priming, Zenithal Highlights, Zenithal Highlights, and it works for them, it might also work for a paint idiot like me. Hi, my name is Toby, and in today's episode of Paint Quest, we are going to find out how effective this technique really is. Let's test it on the Space Marine and see what happens. The Marine will also receive a number, but more on why that's so extremely important later in this video. First step, we need a photo of the miniature with the Zenithal highlights showing. And I think these will work, so let's start painting. After the miniature is base coated, the prime layer is completely covered and almost all traces of the spray coat are gone. Thank goodness we made that photo. Let me explain the color scheme for this one. Most of its armor will be green with some few yellow parts. Yes, yellow, and I base coated these areas brown. Yeah, I know, but hear me out. Sometimes mistakes can turn into something beautiful. We don't, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Exactly, so wait and see what beauty this will still become. Let's finally use the Zenithal guide and put some highlights on this mini. With the first a little bit brighter green colors, I mimic the lights like shown on the photos. And this is kind of like painting by numbers. It's super fun and yeah, I have to say, hard to stop. So the secret is to purposely leave the areas blank or dark where the photo shows the shadows. And after a while you can see the method is really working. Just look at it. The highlights really sell the effect of a light source. And from afar the eyes can really read the miniature and its details. And this process is super encouraging. Ok, now let's talk about the brown. But before we do that, if you like my content, you know how you can help out. Applying yellow, especially this yellow, is like applying greasy butter. But after failing here, I found out that this can actually be used to our advantage. Instead of turning the armor parts into this shiny imperial fist armor like yellow, I'll try to glaze and stipple the paint on in thin layers onto the brown. I'll use the photos as a guide again to determine where to intensify the yellow on the highlights and where to put the transition from yellow to brown in the shadows. And this looks kind of pretty cool and better warm. I painted the eyes with the help of the painting coach's recipe and after using the tiniest brush for some other details I think this marine is pretty much done. Did you remember the number I mentioned earlier? Now it's time to give this battle brother a name slash number. You see, this one will be part of my Warhammer kill team and needs to be clearly identified while gaming. I soak in a decal and remove the parts I don't need. And voila, from now on until the end of time, this marine shall be known as number two. But now it's time to see the Zenithal Primaris in all its glory and have the grand reveal. Oh, stop, 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 stop. I nearly forgot. I painted four more to have an entire kill team ready. What a group of glorious fighters. The big lesson learned is Zenithal Prime works great as an orientation for highlights. It's Toby approved. You should watch this video here next where I convert a crew talks made of metal with green stuff into something truly amazing.